Hi, Raw Thought. This is Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the Seven Step System to pass the TOEFL IBT. Uh, you're one of my on <coughs> online students, and you've also paid to have the additional service to have me error correct your essay. So this is your answer, and this is a live video. I'm actually going to go through right now and make all the corrections to this essay so that it will score 5.5 or 30 out of 30. So this is this is actually a pretty good essay. Uh, you are at 329 words, which is pretty good. Uh, you have a few word choice issues in there. You can probably organize ideas a little bit better. And I'm putting you right now right around 3.0 out of five, or right around 20 points out of 30 in this particular essay. So let's take a look at my edited version. So the question is, some people think that they can learn better by themselves than with a teacher. Others think that it is always better to have a teacher. Which do you prefer use specific reasons to develop your essay? So your first paragraph, you say learning can always play a I'm going to get rid of this. Usually vary is, is one of those intensifiers that you don't need. An important, you don't want to say rule here, you want to say role. So that's a word choice error. You say, of course, we can learn by many ways or different ones. I think learning in many ways <laughs> or different ways is kind of redundant. So I'm just going to say here, we can learn in many ways. And you need to put here a coordinating conjunction. That way you don't have a comma splice. So you say, of course, we can learn many ways. And in spite of this ability, it's a little bit wordy here. How about So, of course, you say we can learn in many ways, and in spite of these ways of learning, it is still. I think you have some word order issues going on. I don't think you need it. I'm going to say the most common, familiar, I think common and familiar are the same. So, there's a pattern here. You're sometimes using different words that say the same thing. So, the most familiar and qualified learning is by teachers. And now we get into your thesis, which is good. You say, this process is the most valuable way for many reasons. I'm going to say is, again, a little bit wordy, is valuable because of the interaction You have three key points here. I'm checking your developmental paragraphs, but we still want to make this a little bit more concise. So this process is the most valuable because of the interaction.
the characteristic responsibility of teachers, that's... See, it's it's a little bit... You're, I, you know what you want to say in your mind, but you're having trouble saying it here. We might see the extensive knowledge and the personal touch of teaching. Maybe we're talking about this for the first time, so I'll say a personal touch. How about we'll say attending classes with a teacher Attending classes with a teacher has value because of the interaction, the extensive knowledge, and a personal touch of teaching. Okay, I think we got it. We're just working on the first paragraph. So, learning can always play an important role in our lives. Of course, we can learn in many ways. And in spite of these ways of learning, the most familiar and qualified learning is by teachers. Attending classes with a teacher has value because of the interaction, the extensive knowledge, and a personal touch of teaching, all of which will help students learn much better than if they had tried to learn on their own. There it is. And I, I put this little extra sentence at the end because it does say in the question, some think they can learn better by themselves and with a teacher. Others think that it is always better to have a teacher, which he prefers. So I'm actually mentioning the opposite view uh, or, you know, the argument. Okay, remember that your essay was actually 329 words and we're trying to get closer to 350. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly 350, but, but what I just did there probably will give you exactly what you need for your word length. No. No, I forgot because I got rid of a lot of words. Okay, so we're at 331. Now, you want to write this down in your notes. Based on this first uh, paragraph, Rafat, if you want to continue to improve your writing, uh, check out, I think it's my TOEFL grammar lesson number two. It's, it's called How to Make Your Writing More Concise. You're also having, as you can see, some problems with your word choice. So obviously studying vocabulary is also good. This is alive. Yeah, hi there, uh, Rafat. Let's keep going. So let's go to your second paragraph. Now, one thing that I like in your body paragraphs two, three, and four, you're using transition words, your structure. You have first, second, you have third. Then you use a transition word here to sum up 
uh, to conclude your ideas. So that's definitely good. So you're connecting your ideas together. So let's work on your second paragraph. You say, uh, first, even though for some students is the best way to learn by themselves, okay, the problem here, Raw thought, you don't really have a subject. You have even though you have for some students is, I think you want to see something like even though for some students the best way is to learn by themselves. So this is a word order issue. So we want to get rid of the is and we'll put it here. So be careful. Make sure when you're creating your sentences you have uh, what's called your subject verb type word order. So let's read that dependent clause again. So even though for some students the best way to learn is by themselves, I prefer to have my own learning by attending classes with teachers. Now if we go back to your thesis, Rafat, let's take a look at this. You have the word interaction, right? So I'm going to take the word attending and change that to interacting and that helps tie that topic back to your key point in your first paragraph. So we'll say here by interacting with teachers. So that creates a little bit tighter organization with that uh, topic sentence there. And then you get to the next sentence, you say, because of the interaction, many students can be successful, unique, and you need a verb, you might say, and are able to move up the corporate ladder in their lives. Now that's a good uh, analogy you're using there, the corporate ladder going up the steps of success. The fact that you can put that into that paragraph, that indicates that you have a lot of exposure with English language. So I like that, that metaphor you're using there. Metaphors can be effective. Let's keep going. It says, the interaction between students and teachers can be by dialogue, including a conversational exchange of the questions and answers. For instance, when I was in primary school, my teacher used to ask me many questions which helped me a lot to succeed. Now this is good. Now, we could probably personalize the example a little bit more, but you did give the example to help support your generalization. So I definitely think that you're making progress in that area because before you were giving a lot of main ideas and big ideas, but you weren't really supporting those with any supporting detail. But let's make it a little more specific. You might say, when I was in primary school, my social... studies teacher used to ask me many questions which used to ask me many questions about my country's history and government Now here's the, the thing we have to do here though, we have this cause effect type thing here. So you have your teacher helping you in school and then what's the connection? How did that help you to succeed? Right? So we probably need to fill in the gap a little bit with that idea. So let's take a look. So for instance, when I was in primary school, my social studies teacher used to ask me many questions about my country's history and government, hence helping me to be a more, you might say, informed citizen. might say future job which is to be a city manager something like that so this this makes it the cake now I don't know if you're going to be a city manager or not but the, the point here is I'm just trying to show you 
uh, how you can be a little more specific with the example you're using. You want to use what I call telling detail. And that helps make your argument a little bit better. The more specific you can be, I think, in, in explaining your ideas, I think the better off you will be. So it says, let's read it one more time, this last idea. So for instance, when I was in primary school, my social studies teacher asked me many questions about my country's history and government, hence helping me to be, actually you should change that to, helping me to be a more informed citizen, eventually preparing me for my future job, which is to be a city manager. Okay, so we have that. So we've worked on the second paragraph. All right, let's take a look at your third paragraph. So you say second. Teachers have their high knowledge depending on the readings, research, and assignments. Now let's go back to your thesis. You have here, attending classes with a teacher has value because of the interaction the extensive knowledge, and a personal touch of teaching, all of which will help students learn much better than if they had tried to learn on their own. So I think that we need to connect this back to that idea. You might say... How about due to vast is similar to extensive, so the vast knowledge Yeah, I think you need an actual specific detail in here. You're missing a specific example here to support your ideas. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a period after this. say something like maybe because of yeah this idea I don't think it belongs here really I think we might put this somewhere else here let me cut this I think it fits better here. See, you see in the previous one we have uh, another reason why I prefer to study with teachers is due to their vast knowledge that they can impart. To their students. Teachers' knowledge can help students to have more focus. Can help students, I'm going to say just to focus, not have more focus. To focus on some points more than another. That's parallel structure. This is what you're missing here. You definitely need an example here. You might say, for example,
might say their own business for the company. How about make it a little more formal here? For which they work. I think we got it. So we, we really did need to put that in there. We needed a little bit more specific example in that third paragraph. So we have, for example, accounting. An accounting professor can show his students which areas of the field are more relevant so that students will know how to best manage the financial affairs of their own business or the company for which they work. Readings, research, See, I don't know what this is here, to be honest with you, Rafa. I don't know if you're talking about the readings, research, and assignments that professors have done or the readings and the research and assignments that they, they can give to students and how that might benefit them. So I'm not really sure what to do with that, so I'm going to get rid of it. Completed. I'm going to say advanced degrees. How about master's and doctorate degrees? So then we have, his advice and care can give their students many points of view, and on the other hand, can avoid them wasting time, effort, and the ability to succeed. So we need to work on this a little bit too. So we have, um, his advice and care can give their students many points of view. And on the other hand, can help them. I don't think on the other hand is the right word there because it's, it, it's, it's, it's one thing leads to the other. It's not the opposite of it. So let's put this here, give you some advanced grammar. Change this to whose. See what I did? Professors whose advice and care, <coughs> excuse me, can give students many points of view. Oftentimes have completed advanced masters and doctor degrees, so they have required valuable experience and advice.
we'll say experience will avoid wasting time and who receive their advice will avoid wasting time So they will avoid three things. They will avoid wasting time. They will avoid unnecessary effort. And failure. So we had to straighten out a few things in this particular paragraph. So let's go to the last sentence again. Students who learn from their experience and who receive their advice will avoid wasting time, unnecessary effort, and failure. So what we're saying here is they will avoid wasting time, they'll avoid unnecessary effort, and they will avoid uh, failure. I think we got it. Okay, let's go to your topic sentence in the fourth paragraph. We have teacher style learning is similar to an artist because of his special touches. Now, the thing is, in this paragraph, the topic sentence is more of a fact, but it's not making any kind of an argument. So you definitely want to have an argument there. Benefit. about actually using two similar grammar from the previous. So we'll say students can benefit by having teachers since the teacher's style of teaching is similar similar to an artist because of his special touches. When we see many scientists in our societies and we discover their cleverness, then we must remind, I'm going to put remind ourselves, that word, that they, I'm going to say, must have had, that would be a little bit better there, they must have had a perfect teacher before. The creative teacher of course can give his sense of renewing everything for others because he knows can give his sense of renewing everything for others. I don't I don't think that you're having some problems with your language there. I don't think that would be how a native speaker would say that. Uh, so let's work on it a little bit. So the creative teacher, of course, can give his teach his pupils, maybe.
But if you say creative, it what you do after that is not really supporting that idea. So this is where you have to have an example. When I was in Unique ways to help us learn to spell correctly. We'll say on our weekly spelling list. Now we should probably hyphenate and you know, put it talents around, or quotes around it because this is a specific the word that she was teaching us. So when she introduced tomorrow, one of the words in our weekly spelling list, she told us to look at it in three words: Tom or Ro. Till today, I have never forgot. How to spell that word due to Mrs. Thompson's creativity. You see what I'm saying? Now we have a specific example in there. You're saying because he knows the ways in, he can guide his students to what they reach and what they avoid. But you've already kind of repeated some of what you were saying in the second paragraph. So you're not showing a good progression. You want to get deeper and more specific with each of those body paragraphs. That helps make the argument much, much better than what it is. Okay, now let's take a look at the third paragraph one more time. Third, students can benefit by having teachers since a teacher's role of teaching is similar to, you might say, an artist because of his special touches. When we see many scientists in our societies and you might put here when we discover their cleverness, then we must remind ourselves that they must have had a perfect teacher before. The creative teacher, of course, can teach his pupils in ways they've not been taught before. For example, one time when I was in elementary school, Mrs. Thompson, my spelling teacher, always had unique ways to help us learn to spell correctly. When she introduced tomorrow, not of, but one, one of the words on our weekly spelling list, she told us to look at it in three words, Tom or Ro. 
Till today, I have never forgotten how to spell that word due to Mrs. Thompson's How about this? Special touch of creativity. I use the word special touch because that kind of repeats a key idea that you did in the topic sentence there. Okay, in your conclusion you say, to sum up, we can really find many useful people because of teachers' efforts. They have their interaction, the high knowledge and style which can rise their students' level. Uh, okay. How about instead of they, these productive citizens benefited due to the interaction the high knowledge I'm going to say raise. Raise is better here. Or how about to increase? Level, how about knowledge base? Okay, I think we have, let's look at the conclusion one more time. So to sum up, we can think we need really really again it's one of those words it's not really needed say to sum up we can find many useful people because of teachers efforts these productive productive citizens have benefited due to the interaction high knowledge and personal style that their teachers use to increase And that refers to productive citizens, just say, so their knowledge base. Make sure I say this. Okay. Now we need to go through the essay one more time. So again, your essay was approximately 329 words. As I went through the essay, uh, you did have some problems with being a little bit wordy. And in other cases, you're not using, I think, specific enough vocabulary to really develop, I think, a, a focus argument. So I, I tried to give you additional examples in certain paragraphs to help uh, strengthen the argument that you were trying to make, right? So let's go. Learning can always play an important role in our lives. Of course, we can learn in many ways, and in spite of these ways of learning, the most familiar and qualified learning is by teachers. Attending classes with a teacher has value because of the interaction, the extensive knowledge, and a personal touch of teaching, all of which will help students learn much better than if they had tried to learn on their own. First, even though for some students the best way is to learn by themselves, I prefer to have my own learning by interacting classes, by interacting in classes with teachers. Because of the interaction, many students can be successful, unique, and are able to move up the corporate ladder.
I think we have a parallel structure problem in this particular paragraph. So you have successful, which is an adjective. You have unique, which is an adjective. Just say able. That's an adjective. So they can be successful, they can be unique, and they and they can be able to move up the corporate ladder in their lives. Now that's not gonna work either. So then we put verbs each time to avoid that. So they can be successful. They can be unique and are able to move up the corporate ladder. The interaction between students and teachers can be by dialogue, including a conversational exchange of the questions and answers. For instance, when I was in primary school, my social studies teacher used to ask me many questions about my country's history and government, hence helping me to be a more informed citizen, eventually preparing me for my future job which is, how about future job as a, which is a lot less wordy and less awkward. Second, another reason why I prefer to study with teachers is due to their vast knowledge that they can impart to their students. Teachers' knowledge can help students to focus on some points more than, I, I'm going to say others here. Not another. Another means one. But they, and you have points, right? So can focus on some points more than others. For example, an accounting professor can show his students which areas of the field are more relevant so that they will know how to best manage the financial affairs of their own business. their own businesses or the companies for which they work, which means which they work for. Furthermore, professors whose advice and care can give their students many points of view. Now, we need a comma in there. It makes it a little easier to read. Let's read it again. Furthermore, professors whose advice and care can give their students many points of view oftentimes have completed advanced master's and doctorate degrees. So they've acquired valuable experience. Students who learn from their experience and who receive their advice will avoid wasting time, unnecessary effort, and failure. Third, Students can benefit by having teachers, since a teacher's style of learning is similar to an artist because of his special touches. When we see many scientists in our societies and when we discover their cleverness, then we must remind ourselves that they must have had a perfect teacher before. The creative teacher, of course, can, can give or teach, can't use two verbs, right? can teach his pupils in ways they have not been taught before. For example, one time when I was in elementary school, Mrs. Thompson, my spelling teacher, always had unique ways to help us learn to spell correctly. When she introduced tomorrow, one of the words in our weekly spelling list, she told us to look at it in three words, Tom or Ro. Till today, I have never forgotten how to spell that word due to Mrs. Thompson's special touch of creativity. There, that's what you didn't get in that paragraph. You needed a, a more specific example there. Now, actually, I did give you, that's based on a true story, by the way, in my own life. But you have to be able to pull these things from your own life, of course. You know, to sum up, we can find many useful people because of teachers' efforts. These productive citizens have benefited due to the interaction, high knowledge, and personal style comma A, comma B, and then C, that their teachers use to increase 
their knowledge base. So there it is. So here's what you wrote. I'm putting you at 3.0 out of 5 or 20 points out of 30. This is my edited version of your essay. I'm going to put this at 5.0 out of 5 or 30 points out of 30. Now let's take a word count. I did add probably about 50 more words in there with some of those uh, paragraphs. So let's see where we're at now. Uh, 486. There we go. All right, Rafat. So based on what you just saw, there's, there's some things that you want to really think about, I think, in your writing. I think I've gone over these again, but let's, let's kind of recap. So uh, go into the grammar lesson of my course, focus on grammar lesson number two, which is how to make your writing more concise. Now, I think you can also benefit by my speaking lesson. It's also a good writing lesson, but it's speaking lesson number seven, how to make your writing more coherent. So the one thing that you could do that I corrected here is to repeat or rephrase key terms from your thesis and you do that in the topic sentences of those body paragraphs, right? So it would be important for you to take a look at that because I know you have a TOEFL test coming up here in the not-so-distant future, right? Uh, anyway, thank you very much for completing this practice test and for having me correct it and struck, restructure a little bit and add a few things here into the essay. So I hope it gives you a much better picture of what you need to do to improve your writing for the TOEFL IBT. Thank you.